Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a cartoon schnauzer. Let's get started in the center of our page with the nose. So we start at the very top in the middle and draw an oval going around and back up towards the top. Now I'm going to fill the nose in black. From the bottom center of the nose, I'm going to curve down and then up on the left. Go back to the center, we're going to curve down and up on the right. Now we're going to tuck the tongue in underneath the mouth. Starting at the bottom curve on the left, come down, round it out and pull it up. And then from the center, I'm going to draw a short line coming down the middle. Now from the nose, we're going to move out towards the side and draw on the eyes. So on the left, we're going to draw a circle. Line this up on the right side and do the same thing. Now at the top of each eye, I'm going to draw a smaller circle for a highlight. And then we'll fill the bottom of the eyes in black. Let's add some fur around the eyes. Starting on the left, just on the inside, we're going to curve up and then out. Line this up on the right and we'll do the same thing, curving up and then out. You want to create a point, so on the top we're going to curve down and in, aiming towards the eye on both sides. Let's add a second point. From here we're going to curve out and over. And then again we're going to pull that in towards the eye with a short curve. Now we're going to add some fur around the cheeks. From the corner of the mouth on the left, we're going to step out, curve out, and then back in. Now at the bottom, we just want to taper this out and up. And up. Now we want to add one more point. So on the left side, we're going to curve this out and then down on both sides. Now from the bottom, I just want to draw a curve going out and then in, aiming towards this point. We're not going to go all the way. We're going to go out and pull that in. Do the same thing on the right, curving out and then in. Now in between the cheeks, we're going to draw in the bottom of the head. Starting on the left side, we're going to draw a curve, coming down underneath the mouth and then back up. Now I'm going to step down and draw that same curve for the collar. Now let's draw on the outside of the head. Starting on the side of the fur on the left, we're going to curve out, round out the head, and then pull that in. Do the same thing on the right. Curving out, rounding out the head, and pulling that in. Let's draw the inside edge of the ear. Starting on the left, we're going to curve up and out towards the tip of the ear on both sides. Now from the tip, I want to draw on the outside of the ear. Starting up here, we're going to curve in the opposite direction and pull that in towards the side of the head. Now back to the tip of the ear, I'm going to draw the inside edge of the ear, curving in and then down. Now let's add some fur along the top. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve up and over towards the right. Now I'm going to taper that back down towards the center. Let's draw another point, curving out and up. Now I'm going to connect this point to the base of the ear with a curve, going in and then back out. Okay, so now that we've drawn the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm going to start with the front legs first. So underneath the cheek, on the left side, we're going to curve down and then bend that out. Do the same thing on the right, coming down and then out. Let's round out the bottom of the paw. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down and then up. Now from the inside of the paw, we're going to draw a straight angle line going up and in, aiming towards the nose on both sides. Let's draw in the lower part of the body tucked in behind the leg. So from the inside corner, we're going to step up, curve down the middle, and then back up on the right side. Now the last thing we're going to do is add the tail over on the left side. Starting on the side of the leg, we're going to curve out and then up. Now we're going to taper that back down and then in. I'm going to do a little overlap, so we're going to step out, curve down, and up in behind the leg, and that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's our cartoon schnauzer. 
I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.